guys, what's up? This is White Boy for the win, and today I have another Pokemon X and Y team review. Now, I know I haven't done one of these in about <laughs> maybe like a month or so. It's just that I don't really like showing you guys teams unless I actually truly enjoy the team. And I use this team for about what five, five to six Wi Fi battles already that are already uploaded. And this is basically kind of like my main team for now until I make a new one. <clears throat> so I just decided to show you guys my team because. I know probably a lot of people want to use my team, and I just wanted to share with you guys. So there's no theme to this team actually, it's just I threw Pokemon together and it works amazingly. So anyways, we have Mega Aggron, Salamence, Rampardos, Porygon Z, Empoleon, and Superior. Now you guys already know about Empoleon, I already did a moveset video which is already up, so go check it out. Um, but anyways, I'm going to go through each Pokemon one at a time, and we'll go from there. So Mega Aggron. I wanted to use Mega Aggron's like basically not one of the best Megas, but it's one of my favorites design. And I just decided to, to use it because it's amazing. It looks awesome, okay? It looks like a threatening Pokemon. Now, for its stats, I just decided to give it max attack, defense, and give the rest an HP because its other stats are complete garbage. And this thing has a base 80 special defense and it can live nothing. Uh, most of the time, so you're gonna be lucky to even live maybe a thunder, okay? Because I can't take because Mega Aggro cannot take a thunder to save its life, okay? But, anyways, um, it might actually have a chance because it has the ability filter and its moves I actually gave it were Stealth Rocks, Brick Break, Heavy Slam, and EQ. Now, obviously, because I wanted the rocks, I just decided to run Aggron Brick Break because I, I've seen a lot of Espeons and stuff like that and Pokemon with screens, and Brick Break does take care of the job. Heavy Slam because Mega Aggron is a heavy Pokemon, and Heavy Slam will work amazing with, um, or actually Heavy Slam will work ma amazing with Mega Aggron. This thing basically does about 65% to a physical or a, yeah physical wall glide score. So keep that in mind. And EQ for um, coverage, obviously. So there is Mega Aggron. Uh, it's just a a physical bulky. Um, wall so anyways there's Aggron so let's just move on to Salamence now this set for Salamence is pretty common I mean um, I gave it the intimidate ability to where that I can live a couple more hits um, hopefully yeah um, life orb because it's kind of common as well to have life orb on Salamence and sometimes people use uh, choice scarf lumberry or um, uh, choice band but Life Orb actually does better, just because um, I, it is a mix attacker. So, um, in stats, I gave it 252 in attack speed, and I gave the last four into its special attack because, this, like I said, this is a mix attacker. So I gave it a naive nature. And you can give it either a naive nature or a hasty nature. I just like naive nature better. It just suits Salamence or just suits suits me better. So. Um, that's the reason why I gave it a night nature, and you will be taking more physical attacks than special attacks sometimes with Salamence, so um, lowering its special defensive um, stat really doesn't hurt it as bad. So the moves I give it were Dragon Dance, Dragon Claw, Earthquake, and Hydro Pump. So like I said, this is a mixed attacker, so I will see a lot of people with Fire Blast for Salamence, but I decided to be the oddball and go with Hydro Pump. Just because it hits a lot of other Pokemon as well. I mean, it's not super effective to Ice types, but it will. I believe it's neutral damage to Ice, and you can also hit Fire types with that and um, Ground types and stuff like that as well with Hydro Pump, obviously. Earthquake for coverage, Dragon Claw for stab, obviously, and Dragon Dance. Um, well, we already know what Dragon Dance does. So there is Salamence. So one more quick look, and then we'll go on to Rampardos. Three, two, one. Here we go. Now. Rampardos is one of those Pokemon where like you go into um, battle and they're like, why did you bring a Rampardos? The thing is garbage. Think again. Okay, literally, think again. So here are the stats. I gave it a Jolly Nature because obviously if you can see this move, this is a Rock Polish set. So we give it max attack, max speed with a Jolly Nature and give the last one to its defense or you can give it into its HP, it really doesn't matter. <coughs> but, um, I had to give it a Jolly Nature because Rock Polish boosts your speed by um, two stages, and it, you are going to be outspending a lot. And people might not know this, but Rampardos, in my opinion, is like better than Rhyperior only because 
it has a higher base speed than uh, or Ramparts has a higher base speed than Rampardos or uh, Rhyperior. Oh, I don't know what I just said. <laughs> Sorry about that. So that's the only reason why I think Rampardos is better with Rock Polish. Now I'll give the Focus Sash to Rampardos obviously because it's not the, the most defensive Pokemon out there. It's just a speedy physical attacker and it's not going to take hits very well. So giving it the Focus Sash will give you a good opportunity to actually get off your Rock Polish if, you don't, if your opponent doesn't have rocks or spikes or anything on the field. Also with Toxic Spikes as well. And then once you get your first Rock Polish off, you will be outspinning almost everything on the field except for probably a Town Flame because of, of its priority move, Gale Wings, and probably a Greninja. I'm going to say you can. I'm not sure. And sometimes your opponent lets you set up twice, so you'll be at a plus four speed, so that is also good. Now for its moves, we give it Iron Head, Thunder Punch, and, uh, Thunder Punch and EQ. Now Iron Head, obviously, because of the fairies, um, and also has a good chance to flinch Earthquake for um, coverage. and. For the Thunder Punch, you can either run Fire Punch, Thunder Punch, or Ice Punch. This is just what I run. I actually have Fire Punch on my team, but I'm changing it out with Thunder Punch only because I see a lot more flying Pokemon than um, like Steel types or Ice types and stuff like that. So Fire Punch really doesn't work as well as I thought it would be. So Thunder Punch is actually better, but Ice Punch is like the best um, punch out there because you see a lot of dragons and uh, other. Pokemon weak to ice, so Ice Punch is like the better option. So if you're thinking about a punch, either on Thunder Punch or Ice Punch, because that's actually better for like your opponents or for your team actually. So that's the reason why we gave it those moves because I want to actually um, have a lot of polish set and part of those with focus Sash and also the Mold Breaker ability because of the Rotom obviously. So there's uh, Rampardos. So one more quick look: three, two, one, and Porygon Z. Now, uh, Porygon Z is a monstrous threat. It has, I believe, the same base special attack as uh, Chandelure. I'm not sure. I gotta check on that. I'm just not 100% sure on that. But I gave it the modest nature because um, I'm giving it the Choice Scarf. And this thing will outspeed a lot of stuff as well because it has a base 90 speed. So giving it um, max speed and max special attack will do it some good but if you give it max speed with just a modest nature this thing will outspeed a lot of stuff including a greninja so think about that when um you're making the porygon z if you want to run one adaptability because i believe that's the only ability you can actually get huh or downloading on its deck but adaptability is better because of the stab moves um so there's the stats and stuff like that. So for the moves, I'm giving a tri attack Thunder, uh, Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, and Dark Pulse. tri attack obviously because of Stab, Ice Beam for coverage, Dark, um, well, I can't talk today. Thunder Pulse for coverage and Dark Pulse for coverage as well, and also because of the flinch. So Dark Pulse is very good on Porygon Z as well. So there's not really much I can say about Porygon Z, just, just that it's a special attacking monster. With a sh uh, choice scarf, this thing will be doing a lot more damage than you would think. So, one more quick look. So, three, two, one, and Empoleon. So, I'm not going to go over this um, as much as the others because I already did a moveset on this. So, I'm giving it Flash Cannon, Skull, Hydro from the Signal Beam, Flash Cannon for uh, Stab and for the Fairies, and Rocks, Rock Pokemon, Skull because of the Burn, Hydro Pump because it's the uh, highest um, base power water type move other than like hydro cannon but you don't use hydro cannon but anyways and then signal beam because of the psychic and dark type pokemon and um possible 10 percent uh, chance of confusing your opponent so that's why i give it those moves i give it the assault vest because this thing is a special defensive monster as well as a special attacker so i'm giving it the modest nature with the salt vest and i'm telling you this thing will eat up moves like it was butter or candy whatever you want to call it probably didn't make sense but that's what i'm saying and i gave it the last four into defense so that's all i'm going to be saying about um playing on so here we go to the last pokemon which is superior so three two one and superior a lot of people don't like using superior why because it's one of the weakest grass type, or actually it is one of the weakest typings out there, but I like using Pokemon that are never used actually, or rarely used, I don't know how to say it. I'm not going by tiers, but um, Superior giving it the Focus Sash will actually give you a chance to set up with Calm Mind, and it's already a speedy Pokemon, the base 113 speed with the Timid Nature, you have a good chance 
to actually start sweeping your opponent's team as long as it doesn't have like an Empoleon or an Empoleon, uh, Town Flame or Greninja with Ice Beam because if that happens, then you're kind of screwed. So getting off one Cold Mine would actually do you some good because then you can get off Giga Jam with more power and you can use Leaf Storm and you'd be back at to neutral. And I've seen a lot of people I believe run Substitute or something else other than Toxic, but Toxic on Superior is a must in my opinion because uh, I see a lot of physical Pokemon, and you and if you get or if you get off Toxic on a Talon Flame, I believe that uh, you will do some decent damage to it, and it won't knock you out. I believe I'm not 100% sure, and it has good defensive um, stats too, with base 9 to 5 in both defense and special defense. This thing will be taking some hits, hopefully, but obviously some special defense as well because of Calm Mind, and obviously you got to give it the ability Overgrow because. Uh, contrary, Superior isn't out yet, and if it did happen, Superior would be one of the most broken Pokemon out there. Okay, and Focus Dash, obviously, like I said, because you want to get a Calm Mind off and hopefully a Toxic. And that's all I really got to say. So, there's the team. I mean, there's no really, like, um, special Pokemon about it other than probably Empoleon, Salamence, or Porygon Z, or Superior. I mean, or even, heck, even Rampardos and Agron. So, there's nothing really much else I can say, I just wanted to show you guys the team, so if you guys are like looking to make a team you don't know what to actually use, here's a suggestion you guys can use. Um, I don't have a problem if you copy my team, obviously, because I'm doing a team review on this, but if I'm going to be rating this team, I would give it probably around a 3.5, like a very, very high 3.5 to a 4, okay? Now, it has an amazing bolt to it, but if you make the wrong move, your opponent can sweep you. I'm just giving you that um, factor right now. So if you make a wrong move, your opponent can sweep you if you may let them set up. Okay, just remember um, the focus sashes, obviously. But anyways, I have to stop the video because I'm already done and I'm almost close to my time limit. But anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this team review, please give this video a like and a thumbs up, whatever you want to call it, and also a comment if you guys enjoyed it as well. And also, um, look out for Friday because I am going to be doing a Y Mega Evolve number 4, which is Spinda. And right after that, we have one more Pokemon to actually go over in the uh, for the first 5 Pokemon, which is we're only going to be Hoenn region Pokemon because of the announcement of Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. So, with that said, this is White Boy for the win. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.